America's most populous city is reeling after two New York City police officers were gunned down in cold blood. The African-American suspect, who was apparently motivated by the recent deaths of unarmed black men at the hands of police, later committed suicide. Kim Min-ji has the details. People gathered at a makeshift memorial in New York on Sunday for two police officers shot dead by a man who later took his own life. It's believed the gunman, identified as 28-year-old Ismail Brinsley, may have been seeking revenge for the death of Eric Garner, an unarmed black man who died in July after being put into a chokehold by a white police officer. The two officers killed over the weekend were shot execution style from behind while sitting in their police car. The deceased suspect who shot and wounded his former girlfriend on the same day had previously posted angry anti-police messages on social media. His postings were followed with hashtags referencing Garner and Michael Brown, a black teenager shot and killed by a white officer in Ferguson, Missouri. In light of the assassination-style killings and lingering tensions over police tactics, some police representatives expressed anger toward New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, saying he was not very supportive in the face of public anger. There's blood on many hands tonight. Those that incited violence on the street under the guise of protest that tried to tear down what New York City police officers did every day. We tried to warn, it must not go on, it cannot be tolerated. That blood on the hands starts on the steps of City Hall in the office of the mayor. In a separate development, a veteran police officer was also shot and killed on Sunday in the state of Florida. Police say Officer Charles Kondak was gunned down in Tarpon Springs while responding to a call. They say a 23-year-old suspect was taken into custody after fleeing the scene and crashing into a pole in another vehicle, but didn't provide details about a possible motive. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.